I'm uh, a scholar, a critic, a curator, and I'm interested in cities and how cities develop. Um, so I started to do curatorial projects um, in the early 2000s, um, 2001, and then I did another big project in 2009 that had to do with the development, the way that cities are sprawling and expanding. And I was thinking about how communities are not consulted. So w one of the central components of my curatorial projects was history. So as development happens, history is simply erased. Um, so I did a project looking at these small bungalows uh, that were being completely demolished, and I looked at the history of those buildings. They had been built in the 1940s. Um, and so I, the project itself was really around the, the way that history itself is disappearing. Um, and a few years later, I did another big project in, um, in a suburb uh, that became a city that was just sprawling, eating up agricultural land, building these you know horrible developments. Um, with no sense of history, of the history of the land. So I did a project called Landslide uh, Possible Futures, which I'm going to talk about, which took place in a heritage village. It was a village that was made up of all of the houses that had been displaced and pulled together into a village because of all of this development. So I really started to think about um, history, collective history, um, how we live on the land, how we come to the land. Um, but the interest in preservation wasn't there. It was sort of more generally interested in history. But as I became more and more interested in history, I, started, I did start to think about preservation generally, and then film and video and media preservation. And then I, I developed a project called Archive, Counter Archive, uh, looking at um, working with distribution centers in Canada, um, who are sitting on all of these huge collections of film and media, uh, mostly produced in the 80s and 90s, uh, mostly analog media that's just in, the, in a state of complete decay. It's a hugely important collection for Canada. Um, so this project brings together all of these distribution companies we're working, or organizations we're working with about uh, 15 different uh, cultural organizations to think about uh, film and media preservation. In Canada, um, unlike other countries, there's no policy around this, there's no government funding, there's no recognition that this is history. 20th century history is mostly written on these media. It's not textual, it's not in books, it's actually film, video, um, and digital media. And those things are all in the process of disappearing because nobody has really thought that, that we need to preserve them. There's a sense that they'll just always be there in perpetuity. So my, in terms of my, the, the arc of my research, it's really gone from an interest in cities generally into you know, sustainable uh, development into focusing on um, uh, preservation and the, and the importance of, um, of preservation.